Hello, hello. Kenny Evans here, another car video. So, the title of this video is To Be Good With Women, Be Like Tom Brady. Yes, yes, yes. I know he uh, he just won the Super Bowl with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I mean, he's done some great things, you know, on and off the field. You know what I mean? He's definitely a man's man guy who should be looked upon and uh, in that admiration, of course, you know, and inspiration, you know, and I do want to let you guys know, this is not a, uh, you know, kiss butt video for Tom Brady. We know he's great. He's done a lot of great things, you know, and I am just acknowledging it because of, you know, uh, what he's, he's done, you know what I mean? And just really appreciating what he's done on and off the field, you know? So, this is just a video of admiration and inspiration, you know, and uh, yeah, that's what this is all about. But before I get started, if you guys would like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification button, you know, and if you find value in this video, definitely donate. I appreciate all donations. So let us begin. So we all know Tom Brady, he's, he's, he's the man, he's a strong man, he's, he's the alpha, he's whatever you want to call it, the, 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 the supreme man, apex predator, whatever you want to call him, you know, and this is not hyperbole, it's not only going off of what he's, I've seen from him, but he's obviously had his, his, his bevy of attractive women. He's dated many Hollywood actresses, some world-renowned models. Obviously, he married one, has kids with her. You know what I mean? So he's he's done pretty good with the ladies. You know, and we have to understand that the reason he's had so much success is because he's had leadership and discipline, not only in his career, but also in his relationships. You know, he has a high standard when it comes to the players he plays with. Offense and defense. You know, you hear about some of the things that he brought to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Checking up with them, um, and, you know, between breaks, practicing with them in the offseason. You know, when everything was shut down due to COVID-19. You know, um also, he, he, he stayed with some of his running backs, the running backs, practicing with them, throwing routes. You know, so it's like he's, he, he had the discipline and that leadership that helped elevate the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I haven't heard as much about his discipline leadership when it comes to women, but I bet you he has... Even more when it comes to them because they're in his life. You know, when it comes to his wife, it is his wife. It is the person he is the closest with. Maybe not spends the most time with because of, you know, the team, but he's closest with. He has the most intimacy with her. So she has to have, she has to live up to his level of discipline and leadership. She has to submit and you could tell in their relationship. She never really talks bad about him, you know, except for when she did. Um, and it wasn't even bad. She was speaking about concern about him retiring and not getting hurt. But that is what a feminine woman will do. She will speak of uh, uh, submission and concern for you because that's what they're there for. And, you know, he is the leader. He's the man in that. Relationship. You just tell. He's a man in all aspects. Every other area of his life, he's you could tell he's the man in his relationship. You know, and it, you got to understand, <laughs> it's not about looks, money, status. It's not about looks, money, status. It's about having standards and not even just standards, but high standards. Those high standards is what allowed him to be able to um, go to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and instantly change their culture, bring in players that he liked and knew he could play with, and good players at that.
because he wanted to raise the standards of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I mean, he's dated all these models and actresses, beautiful women. So you know he has high standards for women when it comes to appearance and status and money. But then he has even higher standards for them when they're in a relationship with him. He has to. It's just it's just common sense because he clearly has a high standard for himself and what he expects. You know, so that's how he was able to uh, take the, the Tampa Buccaneers first year with them. And sure, they had all the talent brought in the first year with them and still win a Super Bowl. Because there's been other teams like that who had all the talent, but they couldn't come together. They didn't have the standard. They thought just because, you know, they had all the talent, they could win. You know what I mean? It's like, it's amazing. It's like, and he earned that reputation over his career. He earned the, the, the ability to set that standard for the team and the people he played with. And he also earned that ability uh, to set that standard with the women he's been with and his wife. And sure, he got the looks money status, but it's more than that. Because you can do that if you go with the woman's flow. You're done. It's a wrap. <laughs> you are not going to be, if you are married, you may not even get married. But if you do get married, you're going to be in a miserable marriage because you're following her standard as opposed to her uh, following yours. And you setting a standard, a high standard for her to follow. You know, and obviously when it comes to Tom Brady, he obviously has supreme confidence and he has the ultimate abundance mindset. I mean, think about this. You know, some of the Super Bowls, you know, the one against the Falcons, they were down by over 20 points. They came back and won the game. You know what I mean? So many Super Bowls. He first had to believe he could do it before he did it. That's confidence, faith. You know what I mean? <laughs> he hasn't always won, but now he's been to more Super Bowls than any other player. He's won more Super Bowls than any other player. He knew, yeah, I lost, but I could come back and get him next year. Or I'll come back and get him next week. And even with the women. That's how you know he knows he'll be all right. Even if him and the Giselle divorced today, sure it would hurt. He got kids, he got money. Even though I still believe she is making more money than he is, but he's still a multi multi millionaire. He has businesses and all these other things. But he knows I could just know. But you can just tell by him. He's successful in every every area of his life. You know he will be all right. He will never struggle with women. He will never struggle with men, women. But it's because he has that ultimate abundance mindset and he has the supreme confidence that he knows he will be all right. You know what I mean? Imagine, he came from the New England Patriots 20 years. He was with the New England Patriots, Patriots 20 years, won six Super Bowls. He left, came to Tampa Bay, Helped them bring in players. Helped raise the standard of the culture of Tampa Bay. And won a Super Bowl in his first year. That is the ultimate abundance mindset. Somewhere you were with at for 20 years. He knew he would be okay. He knew he could still play. He knew he could still win the championship. He knew it. He just needed an opportunity. He got it. He took it. And he ran with it. And ultimately... And this is for all the strong men out there, alpha males, select men, whatever you ever want to call them. They expect to win. And sure, they don't always win again. They realize we'll get them next time. When it comes to winning, you get women, you get rejected. Realize there's going to be another one who's going to be for you. That one for that you talk to. She wasn't for you. She was not the right woman for you. There's going to be another woman, your ideal woman, that is for you. That is what you got to understand. You have to expect to win. 
And when you approach a woman, you expect her to like you. You expect her to want to sleep with you. You expect her to want to date with you, date you. Whatever you're looking for, you have to expect it. And I get it. Some people say don't go into expectate, don't go into interaction with expectations. And that is being locked on them. That's why you have to have a standard and a high standard. And whenever you approach women, if she is not showing you the level of respect, she is not hitting your standards that you are looking for in a woman that you expect to sleep with, that you expect to be in a relationship or date with, then you move on. You have to have a high enough standard where you know what you want and you expect to get that woman. And if you approach a woman and she shows you that she is not what you are looking for, you move on because you know you will win the game in the end and you will win the championship and get whatever kind of woman you want in the end. You know, so it is, it is, I'm just, I'm impressed just with this whole Tom Brady because not only did he go to another team, he, it was another conference, another coach, and he still won the championship. So I just, I've gained a lot more admiration and respect and for Tom Brady. You know, I had some before, obviously, but even more now. So, but yeah, you know, that's all I got. And this is why you guys, you want to be good with women. You got to be like Tom Brady. But yes, uh, again, if you enjoyed this video, like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification button. Be notified for whenever I upload these other videos, you know, and let me know what other topics you want, to, want me to talk about. You know what I mean? I want to know what you guys want. This channel isn't just for me. It's for y'all because I want to be able to talk with, about what y'all want and be able to, um, you know, uh, bring it out. Talk about it. Let it know to help you guys. You know, and of course, again, if you find value in this video, you can donate. I appreciate all donations. But until next week, I will see you guys then. Be safe. Excuse me. And always remember, the strongest man is the happiest man. Peace.